double smite. Her fast jungling pace belies the fact that she falls low. So if you're just able to use the smite, it can actually stay topped up. And the two feet, the, 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 the jungle follow when it comes. Look at this, they're so aggressive under turret, but they understand their damage output perfectly. Swiffer takes him down. The control mage was getting through the lane. Caught out. That was a mistake. Uses the heal, goes down to Rosie, backing in an awkward spot as Jockster comes in, but Radia takes the free mana and cannon. He can't go in. A good flash from Radia is the Revolta. is coming as well, but he eats the binding. Teleport coming through for Swiffer. Ulti moves in there for the onslaught of Chatter. Revolta will go down to Radia. Jockster can't get the trade kill, getting chased down now as well. Radiant gonna get low, has to dodge out. We'll go down to the cannon, but cannon will fall as well, and Swiper gets that one. The summoner spell usage was the big... Sorry. We said it so many times during the OPL season about Swiffer and Spook's synergy. Juxta ults. Bates call in there. Radiant does have the black shield on him, but the stuns will come through. Second stun moving in as Rosie tries to find it, but Macau does get the kill there as Callista's picking up. Big teleport, that'll be the question. Yeah, here it comes. They're moving in. Spook's diving in aggressively, but Juxta ends up with his ulti. Swiper diving in the back line looking for Macau, but gets Stunned up, but Swiffer has gotten the first kill. Swiper ulti's there, and he's gonna chase out the Callista. Rosie pops the ulti, they're chasing so hard, and they do get it, but Yang gonna hop in on the nut, almost in the Mega Nut form now as well. But we're still fighting on the other side of Swiper, getting low there. They have to take out Tokens. Gragas goes down, but Swiffer looks to fall as well. Doesn't quite go down, but it's a win, actually. Clone that situation, they rush straight back to the Dragon, but some of the big ultimates are not available. Rosie's got a pick, though, and Swiffer takes it out. Now Spooks, Budin, Zeko, and Rillanomicon, and a need to see large rod, the Power will fall, giving Chiefs a bit more gold as Revolta gonna get dove on. Massive damage there from the block as Spooks goes in, finds the ulti onto Togger Swiper. Gonna dive in there as well. The Shockwave though, gonna take out Spooks as Yang hops away. But Swiffer wants more blood, dives in again, looking for a kill but can't. The result was just a trade kill coming through with what could have been a bigger team fight win for Chiefs. They need to expand on these things as Yang. Swiffer just dies. finds a way to the top lane and just gets another kill. Just come through, Yang down the bottom, getting pressure, but Swiffer can smell bloody, wants to dive, goes in on top, doesn't quite get it and has to back away from Jockster who just misses that shuriken crucially as Tokens dodges the binding, Spooks in trouble, Macau looking for a reset, Swiffer gets exhausted, goes in, Luton's echo damage comes to his radiant, takes it out as the chain just... The multiple initiation just we've already seen. Two fights where oh. Swiffer going in, wants another kill, Macau will live for now, but Radiant flashing forward, looks for it, one auto comes in, needs one more, Fleet of Foot comes up good and Radiant gets the kill. And the passive comes up big. So this is what happened off your screen. Tucker's got really DPSed out and the ultimate the flash and the ultimate to cancel the animation. Probably wasn't sure if the Ori had the Revolta gets out Teleport. under a binding, but Swiper coming in now. Yang's gonna answer, but Swiper going in massive gets onto Macau. They dive in and get the kill onto Kalista. Jockstar goes down almost instantly, and Yang trying to find something in Mega now, but even he can't last too long. Does hop over the wall. Spooks will follow him though. And now Rosie gonna look for a binding. Sw Swiffer can claim blood there as Rady gets chunked up by Oriana. Rosie chasing in as Yang nars them away. They're still chasing in now when Mini now gets some speed out. From on the high five, but Swiffer going in there, closing the gap, looks for the snipe, doesn't get it. Yang getting low and will finally go down. So they get the fourth kill, but all the, everyone on this team will be affected by the Aegis to respect the match. Oh, damage. good shockwave coming in, insta kills Radiant. Now Swiper getting chased out as they'll no dive ultimate. onto him again. He's looking for it, he's gonna maybe buy some time for Rosie to come in, but can't find it. Instead, Swiffer left. This time punishing them severely, but you can see they're not getting any objectives in trade. The chains go wide. Nope. Does he have enough damage? Mimic chain in there as well. Wow. That was not the right question to ask. The answer to the low revolter might be able to steal it. They've actually got a ward in the back, but Spooks, they're going to go in. They want to get aggressive, but Yang is going to pour it in, but Pockets goes down to Swiffer, but he gets shut down. So Macau gets the kill. Revolta getting chased. Yang in there as well, and Radiant trying to dish out the damage, but Swiper dives in as well. Massive four man prison there from Sedwani. Swiper dives in. Macau gets wrecked as the burst damage comes through from Siva. Radiant gets a double kill on the just behind and items, but neither of those things are true, and she has to respect her Hecarim. Speaking Jockster of respect, gets one shot there by Swiffer as a quick combo comes in. Spooks base plates the wall due to the Revolta's ulti there, and now Spooks gonna get chased out as well. Swiffer maybe wants it. The ulti does come through there, but a bit of poopin'. Yes, smart stuff there, although the ball will go in there. Has to be careful. Swiffer will find Yang, but oh. just deletes the Nah. Now the Baron gonna get low uh. as well, but Rosie's earning them away. Swiffer diving in over the top. Spooks gets in there as well. The cannon ulti is proc there, and Swiffer gonna find the support. Port Cannon and almost take him out through Exhaust. The Fade Skull keeps him alive. Spooks though, still taking all the damage, but Macau starting to get hits on a good Zonny's there from top. Radius keeps him from alive. The team. 
He's okay now though, but Swiffer round the side, gets a double kill, takes out Orian Cannon. Now Macau gonna come in. Swiffer might line up a triple here and does, and that might be it here. Four kills to zero for the Chiefs. Yeah, two super minion waves push in. This should be the game, and Swiffer, one thing you can say, Inst did their homework, banned out the Maokai, banned out the Scion, but Hecarim's looking great. You could have seen that in game one, and Swiffer gets his LeBlanc, and it's a sight to behold. Revolta goes down as well. No, he will stay alive, gets back to the base, but the Nexus will fall down and the Chiefs will beat Inst there 2-0 now in the tournament.